Okay, now that we've got our DynaMesh set up, let's begin by just sculpting the torso. So you can uh, kind of start and jump around if you want and start anywhere, but we're gonna start with the torso just so we can break things down into manageable chunks. And so what I like to do at this stage is to use something called the clay buildup brush. And this just gives you a really rough, chunky uh, brush. It kind of, it's kind of like adding clay to uh, an actual sculpture. And so it's not meant to be refined, but right now we're just kind of adding in these chunks and I kind of like it. So you could use different brushes if you want, but I'm gonna use this one, make my draw size a little bit lower. We'll keep our, uh, our symmetry on. And so let's just start to add in parts of the chest. And so we'll see uh, in the later lesson why we're not gonna add too much detail to the chest, but I do wanna just make sure that we add out the uh, kind of the overall structure of it. And so I'm gonna add kind of pectorals coming across and attaching with the deltoid. So something like that. I'm gonna constantly be going back to smooth. I'm gonna increase the smooth intensity back up. And so I just wanna kinda of have them attached there in the center and kinda of coming down like that. And this is kind of a bird inspired, but the kind of the anatomy is still gonna have sort of a, a primate kind of a, a look to it. We are gonna have um, some of those details we use alt to kind of cut in a little bit under here and kind of bring in kind of the rib cage. Again, going back and smoothing that out gives you a nice kind of organic look to it. And kind of bring that out a little bit. We can decide where we want those to kind of connect. I want to extend it all the way into the arm. Do you want to kind of cut? flatten that a little bit. You can use the alt button to do that and bring this out a little and maybe cut it out underneath there. You can add a little bit. Like I said, I'm not going to make a, a really intense musculature to this and we'll see why in a little while. I do want to come in, let's get a, a smaller draw size and do, let's kind of do a clavicle. And so I'm going to kind of push in the areas of the neck first. So kind of coming in here, you can see there's a really stark line there. We can kind of fill that in a little bit. Pull this down and I'm just gonna bring kind of a bony structure over to the top of the shoulder, smooth it back in. Now, at some point you wanna go ahead and remesh. So when you're using a DynaMesh, you wanna use remesh. And so we're gonna hold that control and just drag here. And that's gonna remesh our geometry so that it takes into account the details that we're adding. Now we're not adding anything too crazy right now. And so you won't see the effects that much, but you do want to keep doing that. And so I'm going to kind of flatten this out just a little bit, a remesh. You can kind of see that smooths things out a little bit. Make sure it goes up in there. A little landmark at the top of the deltoid there. We can kind of smooth smooth this back down a little and start to bring a little bit of the arm in and I'll just kind of bring this down and attach it kind of down here again smoothing and remeshing we can do kind of the same thing back up in here it doesn't have to be completely anatomical correct you know you don't need all of the human muscles in this but I want to kind of get enough of those to make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm still going to go for kind of an, an owl kind of a look. Let's get the trapezius. We'll kind of just add a little bit back here and then kind of push this in. We'll bring the neck muscles down. Kind of get this open area right down in here. Again, smoothing, remeshing. Okay, we can come in here and open this up a little bit. Again, this isn't our final sculpt. We're just kind of blocking things in at this point. Smooth, remesh. I also want to add, so the idea with this guy is that he's a, uh, of, a of a race of bird-like creatures and his wings are clipped. And so I'm going to make sure to add some kind of spots back here where the wings have been severed. And we'll add more detail to these, but I want to make sure to get that, get that, uh, 
the area blocked in there. And I'll probably want to move those to kind of cut this down a little bit. So really, really rough. We can start working on kind of hips as well. So we'll add a little bit right in here. Again, smoothing that in. And again, we're going to be